Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 15 of Let's Play Game of Thrones for Crusader Kings 2. Suffering attrition in their own land. Or not their own land, we're in enemy land. But still. Adding 50% more men barely improves the siege speed, so... Definitely would be best to spread these men out as few as possible. Could I spare... About 4,000 this way? 4,000 altogether? No, we need to have 2,400 here. So 2,400, as close to 2,400 as we can get. There's just one big castle. Oh, it's close. Well, what if we leave the 3,800 behind and send these guys? That would give us 3,200. Not quite. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really see it happening. Let's hope it is siege one more county. I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. Yeah, I think you need to stop doing that. Or I'll throw you in prison. In fact, speaking of prison, this character's excommunicated. Let's throw him in prison. He's raised his flag in rebellion. Surprising. Well, I think I know what to do with part of the army. Okay. That's good, though. It's actually, I think, better for him to be treasonous, because now I can probably execute him. This courtier has no money, so I don't care about her. This guy, though. Yeah, I don't know, the army's nowhere nearby, I don't want to try it with him yet, but I should try to, try to remember to do it at some point. This guy we have a better chance with, 71%. And he lives also there. So we'll imprison both of them. Winter is coming. Oh wow, she actually refused. Do not speak to me of obligations and duties. I may be your vassal, but that does not make me your slave. Yes, it does, in fact. Yeah, ambitious bitch. I'm gonna get her. Is there anything else my spymaster can do? Sabotage economy. Build the spy network. Nice job working on that duchess. That's good. Do it again, please. The war is going very handily in favor of the king. King Lomas of the Iron Throne. I'm tempted to... Uh, Nice job, once again. So now she really likes us. That's that's sufficient, I think. Let's, let's work on another vassal now. The other way I like to do it is you look at the... Yeah, you look at the realm tree and you sort by strength. So this guy here would be a good character to try to improve relations with. Now he's at seven. He's got one of the more powerful armies. Or... I could try to fabricate a claim if I wanted to expand slowly, but I think it's probably more important since we're we're fresh on the throne and a lot of the culture down here is Dornish, Stone Dornish, and I am Salt Dornish apparently. I guess my culture got changed at some point. I think it'd be better to to work on opinion since we've just come into power. Now hopefully we get some money for these sieges. Yeah, twelve gold, nice. couple other castles here. Level 2 and level 2 as well. And we need to siege just a little city here. This guy will probably fall pretty easily. He's defending. Oh gosh, we can just assault that. Well, that's easy. Pick up 14 gold, now we win this war. We gain 50 prestige, plus we imprison him. 
Now, since he's a traitor, I'm wondering if I can... He's excommunicated, so I can execute him. But because he's a mayor, if he dies, then his money will go to the next mayor. So instead, I would prefer to actually exile him. But that would, consider, that would be considered tyranny. Hmm. Or I could ransom him back for 25 gold. Twenty tyranny for two hundred gold. Let's check the opinion of the realm. Let's see how we're doing. The, the reason I'm so motivated for money is, first off, it's my ambition. But also, I would really like to upgrade this castle to a level six, a huge Dornish fortress, because it gives the. It, it's just amazing how many extra troops you gain, and it would. It says it costs three thousand, but it wouldn't really. Oh gosh, actually it would cost 9,000. Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna need some more money. 9,000, holy crap. That is a lot. Still, I think it'd be worth it. You know, you imagine making a, a level 6 castle and then having your character train troops on it. A level 4 up here. Cost 6,000 to upgrade that. How much would it cost to just build a new holding? So you build a level 1 castle for 900. Hmm. That might actually make more sense. What's the base income for a city? 12. Bishoprics still make what? 8. Castles still make... Four. So it's really no change from the original game. Well, now that this army's free, we'll send him over here and imprison the other two guys. I'm... I think I could probably take the tyranny. I think I will. We'll exile him, take the, the 200 gold. And we have a wrong holding in our domain, so we'll just create a new advisor. There. So just a randomly generated Salt Dornish character. And we get to keep the gold. You have decreed that Malor should be stripped of all rank and title and be banished from the realm upon pain of death. Perhaps the Night's Watch would be a better alternative. Aiding the Night's Watch would be seen as an honorable action. It would cost me 14 gold apparently to send him to the wall. Okay, we'll take the Piety and Prestige. My character's not particularly pious, which my father had that problem as well. Apparently I'm branded as a tyrant. It's a trait. Disregarding the rights of their vassals. Yes, I, I do tend to do that. Now where does it say tyrant? Liege is tyrant, minus 20. Okay. How does it increment the cost? Like, how does it track how many times I've performed tyrannical actions, then? Hmm. Okay, well, as soon as we get our men over here, I think I will imprison these two. Because even, even if they rebel, we will have 2,000 men. We can just, pull, you know, set right down on that. And it's just a couple mares, I think. This woman, I think we will just, I don't know. Is there no ransoming? Does no one want her? Well, we'll just keep her then. Suitable. Just let her rot. I think we will threaten her again. We've sieged through both of these... all these castles. This one is freshly reconquered, so I think I will pounce on that. Sixty-five percent. Something significant has changed. Nope, never mind. I saw a different icon there. I thought that that Maybe King Lomas had died, but no. 
Lady Paramount Leonette of the Reach is losing this war quite handily. What is this war, anyway? It's her claim on the Iron Throne. You have a claim to the Iron Throne? Hmm. No, I'm sorry. Princess Rowell. My father's ex-wife. It's a war over her right to the throne. Okay, so now Lady Delon, I ask, she asks for forgiveness. She wouldn't dream of associating with any factions. She still likes me less for forcing her hand, but she should leave this faction now. Yep, she did. Which means we, we can recall the Spy Master. Let's try uncovering some plots in the capital. Just make sure none of our courtiers are being deceitful. That didn't take long at all. Tried to have me assassinated while to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to kill Lord Walden of Middlebury. Expose him. Now we have 500 gold, so... Uh, how much money do we actually need? I thought it was 500. Must be higher in this mat in this game. A household guard. It's a small number of troops. Quite a few plots are happening as well. Hmm. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Okay, he'll, he'll come help me out. He'll be here in two weeks. Unfortunately, we have no commander, and we're a single flank. So... That's not good. I think I'll assault this. Quick 21 gold for that, that's nice move to support him as well. The problem is that we're at low crown authority. Excellent. 14% war score from that. And King Lomas of the Iron Throne is not me. I'm Prince Peter. Oh, well, we gained... Possibly gained some. I'd love to siege these towns. This war is going to be over very soon. Look at this this castle down here. It's already held by the Iron Throne, unfortunately, so I can't siege it myself. Oh, right, I was going to imprison these people now. Yep, raise this flag in rebellion. It's just a small bishopric, though, with very few troops. So we'll just assault it. How dare you defy me. Which means we get to sack the bishopric. We also get 50 prestige for winning the war. And if I wanted to, I could exile him. He's got 50 gold. I think instead we'll just ransom him in this case. He's not going to like me for a while, but... And the other character... Yandri here. He, on the other hand, has 232 gold. Oh, it's so tempting. For 200 gold, I think I'll do it again. 40 tyranny. Yeah, it's definitely incrementing my tyranny. It was minus 0.2 per month, now it's minus 0.4. I wish I could see the tyranny score somewhere, though. a number somewhere Liege's tyrant minus 40 yeah so I, that's about as far as I can piss off the realm let's check the realm tree and make sure that the people who have the most power like us looks like she's gonna need a little bit more wooing any titles I can give out any honorary titles Apparently he already has one. What would it cost me to to make him happy? 
Oh, apparently that's what I needed. It's supposed to have been 750. Yeah, we'll send them to the wall. Okay, so that's good then. We can have the ambition to see our house on the Iron Throne. I don't think that's going to happen for a while. Fall in love. Improve learning. How come I don't have the ability to choose um, Seek a Valyrian Sword? Can I get up to Exalted Among Men? I think I can. Let's work on Diplomacy first. Fifty gold for thirty opinion? No. Okay, who else though? Actually, his opinion is probably more important than hers, but... Title loss on succession. Fifty gold for him as well. Must be probably because he's a duke. Let's see, would it make sense to to build a new holding, or should I should I actually try to save up for uh, to improve the castle? I doubt there are very many level 6 castles anywhere. Like, maybe the Iron Throne? King's Landing. Oh yeah, level 6. That's why he has so many troops. But if we had one... Ooh, he's got Dragon Pit. Hmm. Or my other options are to just upgrade the holdings that I have. You know, Castle Town. I gotta think about this. What I mean, how significant would this upgrade really be? Gives increased tax income on its own. Bigger garrison. A thousand heavy 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 inventory. Jeez. I think I think that'd be too much. I think I'm gonna go for income first. And I'll do that a few times. And then when we have a better base income, then we'll consider maybe trying to upgrade a castle. So, okay, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. See you soon.